Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com where I'm going to do exercise 3 and this is actually a practice exercise for tutorial 1-3 and we're just going to start by drawing the shape on the left and do it a couple different ways and the first way I'll do that is using the multi-line command which as you learn draws parallel lines and so I start the command and first thing I'll do is set the scale which is the distance between the two parallel lines and for this exercise it is 0.25 one quarter of a unit and next I set the justification and I will be drawing the bottom line with the offset being to the top so I type in B and enter and then I can enter my first point which is 2 comma 2 and I'm just going to quickly use relative points to draw around the shape going up four units and to the left two units and down two units and to the left two units and finally to close out the multi lines I want to use the C option for close and it's done so it's one way of doing it and I'm just going to quickly show you a secondary way and that is to first of all erase the existing one and I'm going to draw a line a series of lines and then offset those lines so I'll start at the same 2 comma 2 and go over 4 up 4 2 to the left 2 units down negative 2 in the X and once again C for close so I've got that same basic shape now I want to offset these lines 0.25 so I select and pick to the middle and I have all those done and I'll press enter to finish that command so I'm going to trim these and I trim all these lines out this, oops, so undo control Z and I can just continue along inside the trim command and that's got all of those except for the one at the center of the object and for that I will use the fillet command and I just type F enter and select those two lines and it's complete and if I dimension this you'll see that it is four units and four units tall next thing we'll do is draw the two lines on the right side of the exercise and the first line starts at 4 comma 1 absolute points going to 9 comma 0.5 and I'm just entering 0.5 as I don't need to enter the 0 and the second line starts at 9 comma 6 and goes perpendicular to the other line and you see I can only have endpoint or midpoint selected for my O snap so I type in PER for perpendicular and snap to the line those lines are now at a 90 degree angle and I will do an angular dimension on that just to confirm that yes it is 90 degrees and that completes the exercise thanks for watching mycadsite.com goodbye